Hey guys, so now that we're done creating our art for our particle, we're just going to go ahead and now create the code for it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure this hides when we start our game. So we're going to go inside of our yellow events tab. We're going to use when green flag clicked. And we're going to go into looks and add a hide. Okay. After that, we're going to go inside of the yellow events tab and we're going to add when I receive green flag. So the difference is when we click on the green flag, our intro screen starts, but until we play our game, it won't do the broadcast green flag. So this way, when we start our game, it doesn't show our star or whatever we have for our particle until we actually start playing the game. So after this, we're going to go into control. We're going to add a forever. We're going to add a wait. 0.1 seconds and then we're going to add a create clone of myself so you guys can play around with these wait one seconds and that's going to control how much of our particle is going to show at a time the next thing we're going to do is so instead of control we're going to add a when i start as a clone and then we're going to tell exactly how we want our particles to act so we're going to go into looks and for right now we're going to add a go to front layer and we're going to change it to back. After that we're going to add a show. And then we're going to add a set size to. So this go to back layer and this set size to we're going to be playing around uh, so that we get it to the exact layer that we want it and the correct size that we want it as well. Once we have this, we're going to add a set color effect to. And then we're going to go into operators and add a pick random. And then we're going to change it to negative 10 and zero. Next, we're going to go inside the blue motions tab and we're going to add a go to X, Y block. The X we're going to make to 30. And the Y we're going to add a pick random. Since I already have one here, I'm just going to right click and duplicate it and add it. And then I'm going to change the number. So negative 200 and 200. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a point in direction still inside of my blue motions tab. And then I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to duplicate this pick random and add it in here. And then I'm changing this to negative 105 and negative 75. After that, I'm going to go into looks, add another set color effect to, and change this to ghost. We're going to make it 100. Then in control, we're going to add a repeat 10 and change this to 5. Back in looks, we're going to add a change color. And we're changing this to ghost. And this by negative 10. So they're going to start off being invisible and then they're going to slowly show up again. Inside of control, we're going to add a repeat until. And this is going to add our movement. So I'm just going to put this underneath. Then I'm going to go into operators and use a less than symbol. I'm going to change the 50 to negative 230. And then on the empty bubble, I'm going inside the blue motions tab and adding a Y, uh, sorry, an X position. After that, still so inside of motion, I'm going to add a move 10 steps inside. And then I'm going to have them hide again. So I'm going to go into control, add another repeat, change this to five, go into looks and add a change color effect, change the color to ghost and the 25 to 10. And then lastly, I'm just going to go into control and then delete this clone. Okay. 
And with that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the full code. If you guys have a windscreen and you want to add this code so that when the windscreen uh, happens, we are stopping this animation, all you just need to do is go on the yellow events tab, add a when I receive win. We're going to go ahead and go into control and add a stop other scripts and sprite. And then we're going to add a forever. And then we're going to add delete to this clone. Okay. And if you also want to have it for losing, all you need to do is just duplicate this code and change it to lose. That way it stops when you lose or win and you don't have this animation playing. So now that we have this, again, like I said, during the beginning when we started coding, we're going to focus on this go to back layer and this set size. So we're going to start our game. Right now I'm not able to see it. So I'm going to change the layer to front. I'm going to click on the green flag and play it again. So now I'm able to see it, but you see it's kind of too big and going all over the place. So I'm going to first change the size, so maybe 25. And I'm just going to keep playing, testing it out. So that seems a little bit better. Now the next thing is, it's kind of going over my characters, and I kind of want it to be a little bit below. So if I want that effect, then I'll go into looks. I'll add a go forward one and change the forward to backward and then test it out. Okay, so it seems like it's still going over, so I might change the layer to three. Test it out again. Uh, still kind of seems like it's going over it. So I'll change this. Let's try 10. Alright, perfect. So now it's not going over it, it's right underneath my player. That way I'm still able to see my player, my character, my enemy, and not have the particle effect obstructing my view, so making it hard to see. Because initially the stars were going over them, and it sometimes makes it hard to see. Now it's going underneath them. So you'll just have to play around with the layers until you get the right number. You just have to be careful because if it's too high, it'll just go underneath everything. You won't be able to see it. So that's why it's always good to go back and forth testing, making sure that the size is perfect, and then making sure that it's in the correct layer so that it's not making it hard for you to see or play your game.